India's first space telescope, AstroSat, detected ultraviolet radiation from a galaxy, which is 9.3 billion light years away from Earth. How did AstroSat achieve this milestone that even NASA's largest and most diverse Hubble Space Telescope could not do? That's the topic for today's video. The 1500 kilograms AstroSat, launched on 28 September 2015 by ISRO, is India's first dedicated multi-wavelength space telescope. One of the unique features of AstroSat is that it is capable of simultaneous, multi-wavelength observations of various astronomical objects with a single satellite. AstroSat can observe universe in the visible, ultraviolet, and X-ray regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. A team of international astronomers, led by the scientists from the Inter-University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics, has discovered ultraviolet radiation emanating from a galaxy 9.3 billion light years away from Earth. The radiation now detected has a redshift parameter of 1.42, which is too hard to detect with ground-based telescopes. The result was published in journal Nature Astronomy on 24 August 2020. I will provide the link to the research paper in the description if you are interested to learn in detail. The discovery was made by an international team of scientists led by Professor Kanak Saha. Mr. Saha and his team observed the galaxy, which is located in the Hubble Extreme Deep Field, through AstroSat in October 2016. These observations lasted for 28 hours, and it took two years for them to carefully analyze the data collected. The radiation is too faint that NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has not detected any ultraviolet emission from this galaxy. When asked about this, Dr. Saha said, AstroSat was able to achieve this unique feat because the background noise in the ultraviolet imaging telescope of AstroSat is much less than the ones on Hubble Space Telescope. We knew it would be an uphill task to convince the international community that AstroSat has recorded extreme UV emission from this galaxy when the more powerful Hubble Space Telescope has not. This discovery will reveal insights into the reionization era that happened between 150 million and 1 billion years after the Big Bang. Prior to the reionization era, there was a period of recombination, during which charged electrons and protons combined to become neutral hydrogen atoms. This period, known as the Dark Ages of the Universe, occurred 300,000 years after the Big Bang, during which there were no light sources other than the gradually redshifting cosmic background radiation. Later in this period, hydrogen clumped together to form stars. Many of these early stars were so big and hot, and they produced a lot of ultraviolet radiation. Those UV radiations zapped the surrounding hydrogen, breaking the atoms apart and reionizing the universe. That ended the cosmic dark ages and began a new era known as the era of reionization. One of the outstanding problems of current observational cosmology is to understand the nature of different sources that produce the bulk of the ionizing radiation after the cosmic dark age. With the discovery of ultraviolet radiation emanating from one of the earliest galaxies in the universe, we now have the data needed to make an accurate study of the mysteries of the cosmic dark age. The newly discovered galaxy became the first example of a galaxy with clumpy morphology and leaking ionizing radiation at a wavelength of 60 nanometers. This galaxy belongs in the middle of redshift range where previously no similar sources were detected. The galaxy is not only bridging the gap between the low and high redshift regime, but it is also marks the beginning of exploration of star-forming galaxies at extreme UV wavelength. With further detections, AstroSat will allow us to refine our scenario of cosmic reionization, said co-author Dr. Anne Verham, professor at the Geneva Observatory, Switzerland. So, what do you think about this new finding? How do you think this finding will reshape our understanding of the early universe? Let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And as always, thanks for watching.